The idea of uh, rehabilitation for dogs is really not very new because we've been doing rehabilitation in our human patients for years now. So it really is not a far cry to think about using physical therapy as a modality to help dogs and cats recover from surgical procedures. There are a number of modalities used in rehabilitation that are not offered by the traditional veterinarian or even some of the referral surgical practices. We are using things like laser therapy for chronic pain. We're using transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation for chronic pain as well as back issues to promote better neurofacilitation, limb use, things of that nature. We are also now using the underwater treadmill, which is a phenomenal tool that allows dogs to basically start to ambulate far quicker and get better range of motion with their legs after any surgical procedure. So we're finding that these modalities are actually just getting dogs better quicker and uh, becoming a very useful tool in veterinary medicine. The real value of physical therapy is trying to get your dog back to performance quicker and performance can mean a whole lot of things. Like it just means the 20 minute walk around the block, we can get them really doing that a lot faster and a lot more mobility in dogs who are having rehabilitation. I think that many of the owners see the real benefits. When it comes to the true performance animals, we have dogs that are running agility, we've got uh, hunting dogs that are getting a little bit older and we're actually using certain things like platelet-rich plasma to help these hunting dogs get an extra year, maybe even two, of performance in the field because people respect the true companionship of a hunting dog with his owner is something that's very special and, and beyond even the, the human-animal bond. It's a working relationship. And these dogs are getting a little bit better with not only physical rehabilitation, but some of the other modalities that we're using to improve their function. We've had some spinal cord lesions that were quite severe that we thought because the animals were losing deep pain, they may never really regain function. But I think with some long-term physical therapy in some of those back dogs, we've actually seen them return to really good function, probably better than, than they would have without the rehabilitation. I just think that a service like ours, who and really incorporates the sports medicine with the rehabilitation and the use of some of the newer generation injection therapies is sort of the wave of the future for veterinary care.